This video is part of a series showing standard installation of Hunter Panels XCI Polyiso in conjunction with various brick veneer anchors. This video will illustrate barrel type brick veneer anchors and Rodenhouse thermal grip brick tie prong washers being used to attach the Polyiso continuous insulation to the steel framing. To install the first full panel of XCI CG, press it firmly against the gypsum and WRB, aligning with the framing members for proper securement. Place the Rodenhouse Thermal Grip Brick Tie Prong Washers on the insulation in the Brick Veneer Anchor Manufacturer's recommended pattern. Typically, this pattern is 16 inches on center vertically at the framing members. Use the barrel type anchor to secure the XCI CG to the steel framing, fastening through the insulation and exterior gypsum sheathing. The Thermal Grip Brick Tie Washers have a two prong back so they install into the polyiso easily. Thermal grip washers are also designed to seal around the holes created by fasteners and require no sealant and create no thermal bridging. They are then anchored with a drill screwing in the anchor. In this example, we used Hickman anchors, which are two-part anchors. Insert the screw into the anchor and use a special drill bit to drive the anchor through the polyiso into the gypsum and then into the stud. Do not over torque. Bring in another sheet of polyiso and repeat the process along the wall. As this process continues up the wall, it is recommended to stagger the insulation seams to minimize potential for thermal intrusion. After the washer and anchors are installed, XCI Barabond, a liquid applied detail sealant, may then be applied to the joints between polyiso boards. Hunter XCI Barabond is a high solids silane terminated polyether STPE based compound designed for detailing penetrations, sheathing joints, and other critical details in continuous insulation systems. This example shows Barabond being applied to the exterior surface of the insulation joints. This single component moisture cured adhesive sealant is ideal for seam and joint sealing and is applied with a sausage caulking gun. After applying XCI Barabond, the next step is to smooth over the surface with a trowel for a consistent seam. Add more Barabond liquid if needed in areas where the stream is not continuous. Proper sealing of seams is required if the polyiso insulation will also serve air or water barrier functions. Repeat the process until it is finished, then attach brick ties. If the polyiso will serve only as the insulation layer and a separate barrier is used, sealing of seams may not be required. Use of joint treatments is at the discretion of the specifier. When sealed seams are desired, numerous options are available, including tapes, liquid sealants, and single component spray foams. Tapes will be applied to the exterior surface of the polyiso insulation. Single component spray foams will be installed between boards. And liquid sealants can be installed either between boards or on the exterior surface of the insulation. For more information, please visit hunterpanels.com, installpolyiso.com, or call 888-746-111. Four.